Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as the Cult of Sigma going up against Krotgar, where we've got a pretty non-cheesy sort of army. It's a standard Empire build, melee infantry, missiles, a bit of cavalry, and a lot of Hellstorm rocket batteries. We've got some garrison forces coming in. Even though we outnumber Krotgar's forces, uh, his forces are just stronger than ours, which is why the order resolve doesn't give us the win. Uh, Krotgar is on Grimlock, he's higher rank than us, he's basically on steroids, but in addition to that, which you can't see right here, is that there is an event going on in the uh, in the campaign at the moment called the Bloody Blade, I think, um, and this is where every single unit in the entire game gets 20 extra weapon strength, which obviously greatly benefits melee-based factions and melee-based armies, which we're not a melee-based army, and they are a melee-based army, so that event is probably what's, what's causing this guy here to lose the battle. If that event hadn't been going on, I'd say that he probably would win. Based on the information that he sent in, and what he tried to do, I think that their extra weapon strength here um, is what got him over the line. Because that, that weapon strength is basically going to one-hit kill every single helmet here that it hits, because uh, they don't have much armor. Uh, whereas previously it would have maybe taken two hits to kill them. It's a big deal, that extra 20 weapon strength. Now I'm going to jump into the battle here and uh, sort of explain my options, because there's not too much that we can actually see while looking at this right here. So what he said that he did in his battle is, um, you know, he corner camped over here, tried to get the Pistoliers to lure Krokgar ahead of the main army so they could kill him, and I would have done the same. You know, that's usually my go-to play as well. And it's always a bit of a baffler when I get a disaster battle sent in, and I actually agree with the tactics that they did. And so it forces me to think, okay, we have to think a bit deeper. You know, we're going to have to go, you know, higher level IQ play here and game the game in some way and try to rather than think about tactics think about how can we screw over the AI we have to understand the AI's thought patterns and figure out a way to stop them uh, because this sort of situation is not favorable to us okay I'm gonna put this around the back over here so we can set up over here right and just bomb them right and just do it exactly what he did the thing is, we'll just get the exact same results, right? Uh, because this is not exactly a high micro situation. Most of this army can be left in auto autopilot. I'm just going to get the exact same results. So I have to do something different. It's not going to work otherwise. So, what if we come at this from a different angle? Look at the terrain here. It's fairly hilly, okay? Which isn't really favorable for the Hillstorm rocket batteries. But, what if we deploy over here, right? And instead of deploying there, we deploy a little bit more over here. Okay, it's a terrible spot for them. Don't get me wrong, terrible spot. But do you see what I'm doing here? I'm not setting up a defensive position. I'm hiding. <laughs> it, only temporarily. Just setting up the formation. Because if you ever look here, the hill goes downhill this way here. So if any units come over this way, they'll spot us. But from this angle here, we're protected, for the most part, from line of sight. So what am I trying to do here? Using the pistol ears. Okay, so this you got to understand... This, this is where understanding how the AI works is the difference between victory and defeat. You know, you can understand the stats... And everything, but understanding the AI and how it behaves, this is how we win this battle, right? The AI is programmed at, the, at uh, in this battle here to just charge at whatever they can see, and our defensive position, no matter what defensive position we set up, is going to get wrecked by that. So the way that that works is basically for the first five minutes of the battle, the AI is set to rampage, just charge at everything. It really sort of dumb not dumb but just not not an intelligent move or anything but it works for them right and what we need them to do is go from being super aggressive to being a bit cautious and the way to do that is to get them to run in the wrong direction for a short amount of time and then we reveal ourselves and they should be a little bit more cautious at that point also by running them in this direction here after the pistol is um then there's a decent chance that they'll get tired because they weren't that high ranked. They don't have fatigue resistance. So fatigue will mean that they come at us a bit slower 
they'll have lower stats. And we'll get more volleys off on the Hellstorm rocket battery. So what we're going to do with our army is we're just going to stay there for the time being. Because I can't put Hellstorm rocket batteries in the forest. They don't hide there. We could probably hide better over here, for sure. Uh, but the problem there is that this would be a terrible place to... Hmm. It wouldn't be the best place to set up a defense because of the high ground. I'm coming down here. It evens out over here, but we would very easily hide over this way. Very easily hide. If I put it over this side five minutes. Hmm. Because, yeah, that, that there is a little bit iffy, but being on the other side here. See, this is the problem. By... Uh, deploying over here, I weaken my army, but I strengthen my plan. That's the big thing here. Because I know our units aren't going to fight as well here as they will there. But this will buy me more time, which means their units will fight worse. And that's exactly what he did, and it didn't work. So if we just do the same thing, it's not going to work. So, alright, let's, let's do what we haven't tried yet. So if we set up over here, don't fire at will, obviously, there's no way that they're going to see us. Because this, this terrain here just completely obstructs us. Right, we move. Don't even move back, just stay right there. Reinforcements will come from here. And pistol is, just exhaust them. Stay in this general area here. They've got some fast units. We're just going to be as annoying as possible. For as long as possible. Try to hold out for five minutes. Okay, if we can manage that, then we'll exhaust the enemy, and they'll come at us uh, less strong. Yes, Alright, they can't. Everyone's hidden here. we got to get detected right away before they charge up this way. Couldn't deploy here. Okay, they've seen us. Yep. Now, he said that he tried to get Krokgar away from the main army, but he just couldn't do it. So that means that we can probably expect that Krokgar is not going to come chase Ready, after us, sir. which is good. It's what we want. Ready. Okay. Move back a little bit. Fire. Should be fine to move back to about here for now. Alright, what's shooting at us? Alright, Hand of the Gods. Okay, fair enough. The AI is sort of programmed to attack at whatever they can see. Take the ground. Like I said, we want to buy some time. Get them to constantly run around. Get tired. Fatigue could be the difference between victory and defeat here. Now, pistol ear ammo isn't going to be great against them. We're also going to need to be careful because they've got, like, uh, blessed chameleon skinks or whatever. Um, skink skirmishes, uh, which would be a bit of a problem. But, yeah, see how they're, they're completely formed up to face this way. That's what we want. Also buys us time to get our reinforcements over there. And take a pot shot at these blessed Sora spears over here. Formation march! I don't know. I don't expect much out of him, but... Moving now. Problem is we're shooting into shields as well. Okay, just, just hold Save back. Hang on. Ammunition. The fact the AI is kind of just standing around here not doing anything is definitely a good sign for us. They're clearly not wanting to go that way just yet. Taking position! So what I'm trying to do here is try to make sure that at least one of our guys shoots into their um, flanks, so at least we're not shooting into their shields. Okay, we, we got stuff coming in. Okay, this dude over here. I can't touch. Oh, look, they hit their own units. That was lucky. Um, this dude over here is on a cold one. I might barely be able to outrun him. Surprising how quick he is. 92 speed for a cold one. It's pretty damn quick. All right, just try to shoot as much as we can. Quick march. 
Because, yeah, I expect that these two units here are probably going to get wrecked. So if they're going to leave the battlefield or get wiped out, then we want to make sure that they have at least used up as much ammo as they can. Damage hasn't been horrible. Okay, yeah, watch out for these ones. Don't want them shooting at us. Okay, want to split up. See if we can send them in different directions. Okay, now that we've got them all the way over here, it's time to reveal one of these dudes, just the Lord. Come up over here and be like, hello, I'm over here. Just one. What we want to do is get them to split their army up into three. I can't get around that way. They'll send some forces over here. And then they'll see our troops and not wait for their units to, to team up. Basically, we want to make sure that their army doesn't work as a team. That's our main thing here. Yeah, look at Krokar coming in really fast here. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Look at that speed. 105. It's probably going to rout our dude. It's alright, it happens. I can't outrun him. He shows up. They see him. Hopefully they'll send someone over that way. Uh, Krokka, I don't think he's made a melee attack there, yeah? Alright, so they can see him. Yeah. Just a matter of how much are they going to send up that way. Alright, see, they're running around constantly. This is exactly what we want. This is where they get sort of decision fatigue. Where their AI sort of breaks down after about five minutes. Okay, reinforcements have come in. That's good. I must have accidentally selected them. Yes, General! Hey, no, I didn't tell you to stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. That would be very bad for you. Keep shooting, though. Now, I don't think the Hillstorm rocket batteries are going to do a great job for us in this battle because of the terrain that we set up. But if we had set up over here, they would have spotted us by now. So. It's always a drawback to any decision that you make. Okay, I tell you what, since Krokgar is on top of him big time, let's get him to go over this way and get the rest of this army following... Yeah, yeah. Let's do what he couldn't do and try to get... Um, oh, God, this is not how I wanted it to go. And get um, get Krokgar... Oh, God. Killed. If possible. I haven't spotted our army yet. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, he's backed off. He doesn't heal, does he? No. Also got this dude coming in. Alright, they've only got one unit chasing after this one. Okay. Okay. Need to get more of their attention to come around over this way. Okay, see, now they're walking, they're no longer running. Their, their aggressiveness has been dialed down. That's it, move it. Alright, this is where we just use these units. Yeah, they're, they're slowing down. That means we're going to get more shots off with our artillery. Yep, you keep coming down at us. Taking out their hero early would still be pretty good. That is not a great position for that. Move that back a little bit. I just hope we got a clean line of sight. So let's try to get the heroes to tank this. Is he anti-large? Yeah, he is. That's going to hurt. At least we've got heal magic. Well, a little bit of it. Let him come down. A little bit more. Because if I haven't fired the infantry, he's too small. We won't be able to hit him. Okay, there we go, there we go. Fight him, just do the best you can. Yeah, have some of this. Okay, you guys. Yep, that's it. Okay, gun shooting. Yep, that's it. 
taking out that hero early like this is so good. That really helps to even out the odds a little bit. Okay, do we... Okay, we need to maybe angle this a little bit differently. Now, another problem here is that being at the edge of the map is not good for us because our units are prone to running away. But, you know, we have to pick our ground as best we could. Made our decision. Okay. They've lost sight of us again. It's working. It's, it's a crap idea. It's a crap idea, but it's working. That's a crap idea, but it's it's actually working. The damage that that we've taken is minimal, and they've lost their hero already. And look, they're running back down this way. They've they've uh, they've got that decision fatigue that I was talking about. They're like, I don't know what to do now. Um, this is what we were counting on. The longer the battle goes on, they're, they're like the energy of the AI's decisions just goes down, whereas ours doesn't. Like, this is stupid what they're doing here. This is fucking stupid. They know where we are now. They should just YOLO at us. But look. They're sending two units up this way. Exactly what I want them to do. The Empire is yours. They're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. Because it's one thing to control your army perfectly, and it's another thing entirely to control the AI perfectly. Being able to get the AI to do exactly what you want. Now, ideally, I'd like Krokgar to chase us over here, but, you know, that taking out that Sora Scar veteran, that was really good. Really, really good for us. Right, see if we can get uh, Krokgar to chase us up this way. Look at these guys here. They're just being so stupid. The music's changed as well. Okay, they might be able to take on Blessed Skink Skirmishers. Maybe. But just hang on. Alright, we got them all coming after this at the moment, which it's not exactly what I want, but it's not too bad. Let's try to pincer that one if we can. Okay, so they're chasing after these three. If Krokgar comes after us, he will catch us, but none of their other units here can. Just have to hope my pistol is can actually um, pincer that and win. But Krokgar is seemingly trying to stay close to his forces here. His own forces. Okay, we got that pincered. Alright, that looks like it's working. Now, taking out that unit is a big deal. Especially considering they've already used up all their ammo. So, they've done their worth. Actually, many times over at this point. They know where we are. I just want to point out, I chose an inferior defensive position because I knew the AI didn't know what to do here. Okay. The thing is, there's plenty of cases of history where um, historical commanders have deliberately chosen inferior defensive positions in order to make their opponent make stupid decisions. <coughs> Napoleon. Eh, legend, you can't compare yourself to Napoleon. Sorry. I'm not comparing myself to him. I was just inspired by what they've done in the past. Most of my tactics come from decisions that historical commanders made. And I'm sure at the time, their um, opponents were like, Hey, you're not allowed to do that. That's not fair. That's not how you're supposed to fight. Uh, who says? Well, the best commander says. Who sa Who cares? I make the rules here, not you. You don't like it? Don't play. 
Yeah, they're not doing a great job of running that down, but that's okay. Good to see some fatigue happening here. We definitely don't want to be moving our forces up to the high ground here. Um, I think that would be a mistake. They've gone full stupid. Okay, there's a spear. Yeah, that was really good taking out that blessed uh, skirmisher there. Still got a few more of them. I don't need to be able to take on any more. Alright, now I've just got to try to figure out a way to get them to actually come over here. They don't seem to want to do it now. They, they kind of recovered their fatigue a bit. Uh, if we use these two here with their... Um, oh no, he, I mean he's got the Grand Soul Fire. Better than nothing. Okay. Still a very strong army, even though we've um, taken out two of their units so far. And we're pretty much ready for them. It's still a, quite a strong army. What I need to do is get them to chase after us while still keeping a bunch of them back over here. Especially Krokgar. If we could just not fight Krokgar, that would be great. Or, alternatively... Do it the complete opposite and have only Krokgar come at us and have all the missiles shoot at him. But he seems to want to stay really close to his army. So what I'm trying to do here is get them to split their forces up. The AI is kind of bad with this kind of stuff when you're using fast units around them. Where you can get them to split their force up. I can see them start to do that, which is what we want. Gotta give them a bit more bait though, I think. That's not going to shoot at us. Hmm. Definitely want more than, than one unit to chase after us over there. Okay, this should be pretty good against uh, Skink because it doesn't do any armor piercing. Good. Good. Essentially free damage. Okay, Krokgar seems angry about that. Good. That's what we want. Alright, let's go, go, go. Hopefully this works this time. And... Oh, this is going to hurt. Is gonna hurt. Although he's just humping us. Right, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, go, go. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Just just go, 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 go. Need to try to kill Krokgar early. Okay, I know these guys here aren't far at will. Just wait. These guys here are. Okay, I need you to come around the back here. No, 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 no. Come on, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, artillery, now start shooting over here. Quick march. So what we'll do is we'll get within range of the missile units and then we'll fight Krokgar. Just you know, do the best we can, obviously. Yes, 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 Come on. Come on, we're almost in position. That's it, fight me here, bitch. Oh, yeah! Okay, here we go. Okay, guns, are you shooting? Yes, you're shooting? Good. Why did you guys stop shooting? Here they come. And Krokgar is... What? How can you be obstructed? He's... Get out of the way, get out of the way. You guys get over here, try to delay them. Okay, 
Crocker is almost gone. Get back over here. Crocodile's almost gone. With haste. Sir, guide our aim. Okay, we got rid of Crocodile. That's great. Now, can we manage to actually win the rest of this army? That's the big question now. Good. We got some of their units over here to turn back around. That's exactly what we wanted. Alright, I need to heal. Right, guns aim for the dinosaur there. Oof. Taking some damage. Keep him busy, keep him busy. Let's hold them back. I actually need some more guys over here. There you go, need, need to keep healing them. Doesn't matter if we get some friendly fire, their units are worth more than ours. Keep shooting. Okay, dinosaur down, that's good. This guy here is taking too much damage to get him out of there. Yeah, I need more reinforcements over here. For the Emperor. For the yes, over here. Shoot into this. Yep, big blob. Oh god, we're hitting our own units. Hold them back. Okay, the pistol is. Try to pull them through. I'm um, completely out of magic. Yeah, he didn't have much. Sure, we're hitting our units, but we'll hit theirs as well. And I think that's the army losses. It is. We did it. Wasn't too much damage. No units got wiped out. That's the main thing there. Uh, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, uh, well, my cavalry ran off the battlefield. I can't use them to run them down now. Doesn't mean I can't run them down at all. But there we go. But yeah, if we had dealt with this entire army in its full strength at the very start, we definitely would have lost. Um, some of the units didn't even show up because they were too busy chasing the pistoliers. So yeah, looking at that, that definitely looks a bit more Sora's death than than Halberdier. This didn't actually end up being too terrible of a position. Definitely in theory looks like crap. Alright, that's another hero down, and yeah, we just try to run down as much as we can. Maybe best to take out the Croxigals. If we can actually catch up to them. I don't have any more means of healing. chance we can catch up to those maybe maybe just a little bit because yeah their speed is higher than ours we no point sending the infantry chasing after them but yeah our army is mostly intact they didn't get to the missile units that much i think that's a garrison one there anyway Didn't even give us the Pyrrhic victory. Nice. Yeah, the damage is not that bad. Whereas that's crippling for them. They lost a high level hero. And Krokgar's out for the count. He's actually fully wounded. Unless the game cheats and gives it back. They also lost their Bastilladon. Which that might be his starting Bastilladon. They've lost some blessed units. Not easy to replace that. Croxigors are dead. There's no way this army here is going to be able to challenge you again next turn. There's no way. 
even if you're standing in enemy territory and you get no replenishment and they're standing in friendly territory and they get replenishment, they're still not going to be able to challenge you. Which we know you're standing in friendly territory because you've got garrison coming out in reinforcements. Well, that army is dead. Absolutely dead. That is a huge blow to the Lizardmen there, because they lose a lot of experienced high-value units. And it doesn't really slow down your momentum now, because your army is in pretty good shape. Yeah, that is impossible. There is nothing that can be done there, so just auto that. Yeah, there's battles that can be win, can be won. There's battles that probably shouldn't be won, and there's battles that 100% can't be won, that's one of them. Power to see. Typical sort of what happens in this. Alright, let's go over there and have a little bit of a look at Antok. So, they got themselves a slan, looks like it's a new one. So, that's good, because they can't get loads of slans that quickly, and uh, you can just take that out very quickly. In fact, if you fight that manually, you can use this opportunity here to heal a bit more. And probably take next to no damage. And then, you know, march on Suntry Glades to finish them off. I mean, you, you've got um, incoming down over here. Luckily, you've got an army there as well. So, your campaign seems to be fairly healthy. A decent amount of territory for turn 60. But yeah, got through that. Cool. Alright, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. The big thing to take away from this is that you can understand how your army can function perfectly, right? But to get to that next level of winning these sort of really tough battles is understanding how the AI behaves as well. We made the AI do exactly what we wanted to do because I understand that their best charge comes within the first five minutes of a battle. If you can prevent that charge from hitting your main line within that first five minutes, they tone it down and they are more cautious at charging towards your line, which is way more advantageous if you have a lot of artillery. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.